I got your back with my WBLS Kango today. And not only am I rocking the Kango, and not only am I here, but I got DJ Rich with me. Hey, everybody. Good to be back on this Sunday with you, with you, with you. Hey, Liz. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you feeling? I'm all right. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, right? That's it. Remind me of the, uh, coming up on the Rough Side album from the 80s. Right coming there. up on the Rough Side of the Mountain. All them sides of the Mountain are rough, if you ask me. <laughs> Come on and check in. Let's see who's here. It's roll call time. Hey, Dorothy, good to see you. Thanks for checking in. Michael, I knew you would make it. How are you? Hi, Michelle. Good to see you. Michael, let's see. You saying blessings to us, yes. And you saying hey to DJ Rich. That's hello, what I'm hello. talking about. Roll call, roll call. Tony, don't be saying you're checking in from Orlando, Florida. Brody, you see I'm working. Now you just stop me. Barking. What's wrong with him? <laughs> hey, Tony. Tony's New York. I don't care what she says. She can try to be from Orlando if she wants to. But she's from New York. You know what I'm saying here? New York. All right, y'all, let's see who's in the house today. Come on and check in and say hi. Got a great show for you. And we're just so happy to be with you here today. He's gonna... Hey, Anthony, what's going on, I think? It is Sunday praise, y'all. We are here. How many of you caught BLS this morning at 7 a.m.? Shut up, Brody. Can you hear him? <laughs> I think Brody wants to be on the talking. <laughs> I don't really care what you did. I don't care, Tony. Say all you want, you a Floridian. Who to you? Anybody else want to check in other than Tony? And make sure you tell us where you come from, where you at. Where are you from? This won't call time. Sunday pray. We're just really happy that we could be with you here today hanging out. DJ Rich got some great music. We've yes. got Pastor Samuel Wright checking in. We've got Lucinda Moore checking in. So now's the time for you to start letting others know. Come on and check in. Why don't I see PLS? Wait, wait, here we go. I didn't select PLS. Here we go. Now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. For some reason, it wasn't selected. But my family, where y'all at? Good morning, checking in. Cynthia, what's going on? Checking in from Newark. Good to see you in the place today. Hopefully, don't look at me. If you don't look at me, you won't say anything. He's just out of control. I'm just telling you. It's roll call time here on Sunday. Praise the morning, check in. Look, I'm going to share with you. I went to the pastor's summit this past weekend. It was a retreat for the pastors, and it was in Pennsylvania, right on the borderline of Jersey, Pennsylvania. And there's a, a place there that's a retreat. And I guess, you know, it really is a retreat because I had to drive really far to find food. Um, There was no Walgreens. There was no Dunkin' Donuts. It was 
everything. Wow. You had to just be there. But it was an awesome time for me. I met some great pastors. And um, I should put, there was a testimony I had to record. I think I'll get it on before the show ends. Um, but it was a great time. Israel was there. And wow. Pastor A.R. Bernard spoke. It, I, it was just really enlightening. What I thought was going to be one thing. Because I really went to help Dan Butterfuco. My mm. buddy, he's an injury attorney. And he does this whole genealogy of Jesus. And it's a virtual tour. So I was helping him with that. But I had a chance to it really enjoy the time. So I look forward to it. It's called the Pastor's uh, Prayer Summit, I believe. And it was the 33rd year of it. And it was wow. so nice to see pastors of all nationalities coming together on one accord to talk about, you know, the changes and how we can do things better. And, of course, praying. So it was exciting, yeah. exciting time. Um, I also had an awesome time yesterday, but I'm going to save that video clip. Joyce, what's going on? Checking in from the boogie down. Good to see you. Good to see you. But I just had one question. Of what, what? What town was this where you didn't have a Walgreens or, you um, know, because I'm Pennsylvania too, up. you know, Look, so. It was boondocks. <laughs> it was the boondocks. I'm going to find it and I'm going to tell you. Let me look it up. I'm trying to see how far it is from me, and, and you okay. said right it over was, the border, so. It was right on the border, but I had to drive eight minutes to food or a gas station. Oh, wow. And I was like, nope, this ain't my kind of place. All right, let me <laughs> see. I, I think I put it in my phone. Um, No, that's not it. Okay, hang on. I'll find it, and I'll come back, and you tell me. All right. Okay. Because I think it's in an email. Oh, it was you get with a T. That's all I know, and that's mm. all I needed to know, really. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, if I can only get to. What's up, Red? Checking in from Harlem. Michael, good to see you. Tony, what's going on? Thanks for checking in. Pam, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Rayla, hi, is this your first time checking in from North Carolina? Elsie from Coney Island. Brooklyn is in the house today. I appreciate it. Jennifer, what's going on? Good to see you. You're checking in from Detroit. We're getting all, all the folks checking in today. Now, yeah, where yeah. are my countries? Where are the people that are outside the United States? You know I want to hear from you. You're usually checking in from Dubai and all over the world. So we want to see you here today. Come on and check in and show some love let me see here adrian good to see you from elmsford new york she's checking in today good thing okay i'm gonna look it up dj rich you get it going right. i'm gonna find out where that is and i'm gonna come right back okay all right, all right. Patricia, i see you checking in Delaware. excuse me friend if i can trouble you for a minute this one's for you Liz. I have thank you i need some i be wondering what the wind and the rain really mean? Is it still your time and your season? I know that you are made with the storm in man. Ooh, you might be wondering how much more of the pain you can bear. If God really does he care, just know that you are made with the storm in man. Let the struggle make you stronger. Help you hold on a little longer. Like you know that you are made with the storm in mind. Come on, check you now. Where you watching from? Damn, I mean, all the glory and all the honor belongs to Jesus. 
Now, he had a close call with his daughter, remember? Yeah. She yeah. was in a car accident, I believe. Let me see. No, no, don't tell me this. Oh, wow. That is not... Ricky was already on... Oh, let me see. Ricky Smiley Comedian. Oh, no. It's horrible. Wow. Please pray. Please pray for me and my family. Wow. wow. Ricky has really gone through. His daughter was shot. It wasn't a car accident. She was shot. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's awful. You saw Ricky Smiley say it? Wow. Oh, yo. Definitely keep his family in prayer. You know, he went through so much when his daughter was shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we keep him lifted in prayer. Oh, boy. All right, Pastor Samuel's here. So we're going to bring him up. And let me, let me just take him from the other one that's still... Oh no, hold on. I still see him on the other side. So let me kick him out of the studio on that side and bring up none other than Pastor Samuel Wright. Pastor, welcome. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. How you doing? We doing all right. Meet my DJ, right. Rich. Right. How are you, Pastor? Oh, God bless you, brother. How you doing? Good, good. Well, Sounding good back there. He's oh, trying. Yeah, he's doing his thing. He's act everybody's DJ acting. I can't even say mine. I can't even right. claim them as my own. But Pastor, <laughs> could you do a church roll call praise out and give a shout out to your church? Yes, this is Pastor Samuel Wright on behalf of Union Chapel Church in Union, New Jersey. We're at 1424 Gustav Avenue. Uh, we're just glad to be with you this morning or this afternoon. Thank you so much for the invitation and the opportunity. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here, too. And, and next week, I'm going to be at your church for a church pop-up. So I'm letting you all know that's where I'll be. At the end, of Pastor will give them the address one more time. So what yes. was your message today? The message was simply the talk. Uh, the text was from Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh, we're just talking uh, in light of what we're experiencing as a people uh, in the most recent tragedy down in Memphis. Uh, God just put it on my heart that we just need to have a talk, uh, have yeah. the talk or series of talks. Uh, what What are we doing? What are we doing wrong? What can we do better? Uh, how can we circumvent these, these uh, unfortunate occurrences from happening again and again? We need to just talk as a people. We have to get back to sitting around the table and talking how to love each other, how to respect life, how to respect God, how to retain God's knowledge. Uh, so we just uh, centered that around and for the next month through Black History Month, we'll be talking about the talk, just real talk, real, real talk. You know, um, I was in Memphis when, <clears throat> I guess he had just passed. I was at St. Jude's and I was there for five days and it covered the news and I knew that there was a problem when they fired those officers and they hadn't shown that videotape yet. Mm. I knew that they saw that tape and they knew what they saw was was enough for them to fire them. I have not watched the video. I don't think I want to. I heard a piece of it and that was enough to push me over the edge. So Pastor, I'm in agreement with you of us being able to sit down and talk Go back to basics, I guess, is what That's you're it. saying. That's it. There you go. Uh, I would encourage you to watch it, however. I, I encourage people to even sit down with their children. I think that's part of what I was trying to convey. We, we shield ourselves and our families from the, re the harsh realities of life. And as a result, we, we really end up doing more harm than good. They need to see, we need to see just how uh, mean-spirited. We need to see Satan at work. We need to see that so that we know how to conduct ourselves. And most importantly, know that we must lean on God, that we must be in right relationship with God. We must exercise godly wisdom 
godly character, integrity, all of those things that we've lost. So we can't do it if we're lost in this uh, false illusion that everything's all right because it's not. So um, are you um, back full service? You know, some churches aren't yet. Well, to tell you the truth, we, we're we unique. We never really stopped. Uh, during the height of the pandemic, uh, we just went with a skeleton crew, myself and my wife and the uh, audio team and a couple of musicians. So we never really stopped. Um, and we were blessed. There was a lot of um, misfortune. A lot of people lost their lives during the pandemic. Yeah. We, we lost no one from Union Chapel. Amen. We lost no one Amen. from the community. And we just kept going. But in answer to your question, we we little by little have gotten back to the place where we are uh, going full steam ahead like we did before the pandemic. I love that. Full yeah. steam ahead, Pastor. Yes. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. So what was the scripture that you were using today? Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, where uh, the minor prophet Hosea uh, had a talk with God's people. And he let them know there was an indictment. Uh, the leadership had fallen. Uh, sin was abounding. And so it culminates in verse 6, where he says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And what he says was the lack of not intellectual knowledge, not technological knowledge, but godly knowledge. We have abandoned godly knowledge. And so as a result, we are paying a dear price. My God. It started with taking prayer out of schools, huh? Right, right. It, it starts there. It starts. But you know, we, we talked about that. And unfortunately, we put a lot of weight on the school system. It's interesting that you brought that up. I, I believe that we're at fault because they can do what they want in the school. That has nothing yeah. to do with what goes on in my house. That's true. That's yeah. true, and, Pastor. And, and the church has failed to an extent, too. Uh, we're, we're, we're teaching that everything's wonderful. We're not, we're not, we're, we want people to go out feeling good. But we're not giving the reality. I, my reality. Yeah, no. My reality right now is things are rough. That's it. Yeah. And we have to let people know that. But there is hope in Jesus Christ. But yes, don't be, there don't is be hope. There's hope. Uh, and God says that he knows the plans that he has for us. But the reality is we live in a sin-sick society. And God is depending on the church to make a difference. But yes. we can't make a difference if we're doing the same thing that the world's doing, living the same way the world's living. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, Pastor, I'm glad you came on. I hope this won't be your last time. I'm hoping that Absolutely you'll pray not. for us. I look forward to it. Whatever you like me to do, whatever. If I'm available, you got it. All right. That's what we like to hear. Uh, Anthony, I'll get to you in a minute. I see you're giving us scores. Pastor, will you please uh, pray for everybody? Um, I certainly will. Thank you. Let's look to the Lord. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you because you are the God of hope. You are the God of multiple chances. You are the sovereign, the one true and the living God. Uh, we come to you this afternoon because there's nowhere else for us to go. And we ask that you would just bless this ministry, uh, bless every endeavor that's designed to bring glory and honor to you. All these people, their, their technical expertise, their musical expertise, their word knowledge, God, all the gifts that you have made available to us, we bring them to bear for your people, not only here in this country, but wherever they we are connecting under your name, God, we ask blessings from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet. Everywhere the soles of our feet tread, God, we speak it as we are in tune and obedient to you and with you and for you. So God bless again this radio station, this ministry in particular. Have yes. your way, God, yes, that God. people might grow, that people might be encouraged, people might be strengthened, that people might be saved. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do. We thank you right now for what you are doing, even right now, in Jesus' yes, name. God. Amen. Amen, amen, amen and amen. Pastor, everybody's been greeting you. I don't know if you had a chance to see it or not. But I'll, I'll try to put them up. They would just wanted to say hi and let you know that they appreciate it. Would you all like Pastor to come That's back it. again and hang out with us? We would love to have you back again, Pastor. Yeah, everybody's getting in there. Shout outs to you. Yes. And, and how are you doing? So one more time, why don't you please um, tell everybody where you're located, 
so that um, they know your church and your service times. Certainly will. Union Chapel Church, we are located at 1424 Gustav Avenue in Union Township, which is in Union County. Um, our worship time begins at 1145. Uh, we switched to 1145 during the pandemic, and we, re we remain at that hour. We stream live at 1145. Uh, we All have right. Sunday school uh, prior to that. Uh, Bible study on Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. You can uh, check us out on our, our website um, and connect with us via Zoom. Uh, so we, we look forward to you connecting with us when you can. If you're in the area, please stop by. We'd love to see you. And please... Uh, Check in with us next Sunday when Liz will be with us and just giving a shout out for her ministry and what God is doing. We pray for her and just pray for me as we go forth in the Lord. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And Pastor, I will see you next week. Right, I'm looking forward to greeting looking and forward meeting to your congregation. Yeah. And thank you again so much. And one more time, what's the um social media for your church? Uh, YouTube and Facebook Live. Uh, Facebook. Or, or is it your church name, your website? I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't realize what you were asking me. Yes, you can you can go to www.unionchapelchurch.net. Got it. We got it. Pastor, we'll Thanks see you so on much. here real soon, okay? God bless you. Thank you. God bless Thank you. you. All right. Have a good day. Bye -bye. Thank you, DJ. All of you. God bless you. You too. You know, it's always nice to be able to bring a pastor on mm -hmm. and... You know, because there's things that are going on in the world sometimes. You know, I don't always touch on everything. But when a pastor comes on, you know, we're going to touch on it. We're going to pray over it. We're going to believe God That's to right. work out that situation. So we're grateful to have Pastor Wright come on today. Make sure y'all are following him and going over to the website. And if you can, join me next Sunday. I'll be over at his church uh, greeting his congregation and sending some love over there. Hey, Terry, Jennifer, thank you for the love. I appreciate it. So what I wanted to do was, okay, here's the address, DJ Richard, where okay. I was. All right. Uh, uh, Tuscarora Inn. It's Mount Bethel, PA. I think that's a little south of me. Okay, well, it was so south. <laughs> that I couldn't find Walgreens, CVS. Wow. I couldn't find a Dunkin' Donuts. I had to eat at a diner. Wow. And I realized, you know, I've always been comfortable anywhere I'm at. Mm -hmm. But while I was there, all of a sudden I realized that I need to watch my back. I can't oh, just be wow. out anywhere and it'd be all right. So yeah. um, I was happy to be there and I stayed at a beautiful hotel. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't like major chain it was like a little boutique or something this was Private. the phone in the room that was the phone that was wow. in my room classic <laughs> and then i was on the third floor and i had a i had my suitcases from memphis because i didn't get a chance to come home it was like straight from memphis straight to this retreat yeah three stories of these i had to carry my suitcase oh down. and no and that's what you said no elevator now i see no elevator wow. so imagine that three times oh man so that's like the, that's like some of the events i do where they have no elevators or no dumb waiters and i gotta carry all that stuff up i i, I feel your pain it was it was <laughs> bad and then the gentleman that checked me in he says don't worry i'll help you with them i said i will not let you help me carry these bags sir <laughs> you look about the age of my parents i could not <laughs> let you carry my bags so wow. that being said, so I want you to look at this clip from a gentleman that I met at the retreat and it blew my mind. What's going on family? How you doing? I don't even think it's noon yet, but I had to come on here and share with you because you know, God gives you assignments and in those assignments, there's people that you're able to touch. And sometimes you never know who you've touched or how many you've touched. But when you have an opportunity to meet someone that says that you've touched them, it's life changing. So that being said, I want you to meet someone that changed my life last night when he came and spoke to me. I want you to meet James Brown. Yes. 
Good, good morning, Facebook family and friends from Streets to Christ followers. How you doing? You know who I be, James Brown, maybe Brown, youngest boy from Streets to Christ Incorporation, founder and president. I call myself your father, your son, your uncle, your nephew, your friend, your cousin, your homie, but most of all, your brother in Christ. And last night I had the pleasure of meeting someone that I listened to on the radio for three and a half years in my jail cell. I woke up every morning every weekend morning to go rec to, to recreation, but I couldn't go because I had to listen to Liz Black and my friends used to get upset. I say, after Liz Black go off, that's when I come out. But you know, I need to hear Liz Black. And yesterday I saw her and I told my wife, that's Liz Black. That's the lady that touched my soul with her music, with her platform. The one that taught me gospel and how to speak praise unto the Lord. And I just wanted to give her some honor to let her know that she did touch me through her platform. And I pray that she touched many, many, many people around the world the same way that she touched me. Don't just listen to the song. Listen to the words and you will learn how to praise the Most High God. The Bible says every knee should bow, every tongue should confess that he is Lord. It took me 40 years, but I'm here today to say I bow down to the Most High's name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Liz Black. Mm. Thank you. I thank you. I thank you, James. And he's going to come on with me. We're going to come live. He has a book. He's a chaplain. We want to hear his whole testimony. Mm. But I just want you to know I'm so touched by him coming by uh, yesterday and sharing yes. with me. And I'm just so grateful. So um, make sure you share this with somebody and uh, stay tuned for when I'm going to have him on. All right. God bless you. Bye. Yeah. Isn't that was that awesome. Good? That was awesome. I mean, the fact that he's a chaplain. Yeah. He was at the prayer summit because he's a chaplain now. Wow, that's amazing. Father, thank you. Thank you, God. You just don't know. I mean, I've been on the radio for like 27 years. I have no idea how many people. I remember there was a, a, a group of men that were in the correctional facility. And every Sunday, they all gathered together to listen to my four-hour show that was on LIB. Mm. And then they, they would line up and call in so each one of them could get prayer. Wow. Wow. So we don't know everything, yep. but we yep. need to continue to make sure that we're letting people know that Jesus is alive and he is real. That's and right. that he's changing lives every single day, and every with, day. And whatever platform you're on, on the street, on your job, on the bus, in the in grocery home, store, in your home, everywhere taking out the trash you 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 gotta yes. make sure that you're, you're you're living for god living for christ because someone's gonna see that whether you know it or not and that's gonna stir up something on the, the inside of them like what must i do to be saved what what is what this joy must you have? i do to what be is, saved what is, what is this peace you have what is this in the midst of turmoil there's a peace about you there's a calmness what i, I want that too what is it and you boom there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Whatever yeah, platform. There you go. So I'm grateful and I will continue to be on assignment as long as God allows me to be on assignment. So we're going to transition now over to my girl. Um, I could call her anytime she pick up the phone. Want to know where, you know, what you need, Liz, basically. So let's just bring her on. She's got a song, man, that's hit number one. Wait, let's turn it on so she can hear all the applause and the smiles and the teases. Welcome, Lucinda Moore. Good morning. <laughs> hey, Lucinda. Hey. Are you in uh, New York today? I am. I'm How did service Rockaway. go? How far was Rockaway. service? I'm far Rockaway. I'm still here. All right, will you tell the pastor? Give them a church roll call praise out. The pastor's name, Pastor... Bishop Gorel, um, Community Church of God in Christ, Incorporated. In Please Far Rockaway, New York. All right. Send him, tell him I send my love, okay? I sure will. All right. Now, there's a story, too. He actually came to my house and got two of the kittens 
It was a, a cat. She decided to have kittens in my garage. So instead of giving them to the, the kennel or wherever and not knowing what would happen to them, I put on Facebook that I had these kittens. So I was catching these kittens. I had a trap and, and we were catching a kitten a day. So he has really? two of them. Yes, that's the story. He has two of the kittens. Lord have mercy. You got any yes. chihuahuas? You have no, you want a two okay. out? No, it was cats, but that's all right. <laughs> Congratulations, Lucinda, on Lord, I hear you. <laughs> this is first of all, first of all, Liz, I want to say thank you so much for the support. Always, always thank you so much. Thank this, you. this, we like pressure into pain and wait, what is what pressure into praise? Pressure, pressure into praise. 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 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love that song, but this one is taking it a thank whole you, other level, baby. Well, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, it it kind of it took me by surprise, um, but it didn't take me by surprise because of the testimony behind it. Yeah, and you've been so yeah. faithful. You've been faithful. Ooh. You work hard. You hustle as hard as I do. What, well, Liz, Liz <laughs> it's been, I mean, I think I first stepped into the gospel industry in 2006. 2006. Uh-huh. When I first got into the gospel industry. And it took this long. Pressing the praise numbers were not like Lord, I hear you numbers. Yeah. Like, Lord, I hear you is another monster. That's a whole yeah. other monster. It was time yeah. for a monster. It was, it was your time, time for a monster. It was time for a monster. <laughs> but a lot of people don't know that the testimony behind that song is um, back in 2015, the doctor said I had a cyst the size of a watermelon on my spine, and if I did not get the surgery, that I would be paralyzed in the next week. Wow. I went on and did the surgery, and then my heart stopped on the table during surgery. Mm. Mm. So when I came out of recovery and went into my went into ICU, they told me that my heart stopped on the table. I lift my hands and I say, well, you know what? I'm here for a reason. Lord, I hear you. Lord, I hear you. Yes. I kept saying it. Yes. I kept saying it during the hospital. I had staples up my back. I was in pain. And I said, Lord, I hear you. There, there's a reason why, you know, that I'm still here. And I begin to pin the song, Lord, I hear you in the hospital because I kept saying, Lord, I hear you through the whole process. And I heard God when he said that I resuscitated you wow. to bring you, wow. bring you into your vision and bring you across the nation. I resuscitated your life, your ministry, your career, everything. Jesus! So he had to literally resuscitate my natural life for the spiritual life to take place. And that's why you are hearing and you are seeing, Lord, I hear you all over the place. I, all over the place. I feel like running, but I'm afraid I'll wake up Brody. That is unbelievable <laughs> how God resuscitated everything. So he could come in and not only resuscitate you physically, but he can res resuscitate your finances, healing in everything. your body. <clears throat> come through, God. That's yes! Cool. But, was, but here's the other thing, Liz. Like, God resuscitated me naturally, right? And the other thing that I, and I can speak to a lot of the recording artists that's out there trying to do the same thing, right? The reason why God told me that I am resuscitating you is because he also spoke to me in a hospital and told me why he laid me on my back. Mm. He laid me on my back because I was being disobedient. I wasn't wow. paying my tithes and my offering. Oh! So God snatched everything from me. I couldn't sing for five, six, seven months after that because I was not paying my tithes and my offering. Wow. Well, when I got out of that hospital and begin to pay my tithes and my offering, the, the result is what you see right now. 
You you just didn't results. tell us we was going to have church like this today. <laughs> right. Well, I, I just came out of church, so I'm, I'm still yeah, kind of full. Yeah. You better come on. Now, now I want to shift, but I don't think we can right now. We, God is talking, and we hear him. Um, your full recovery took how long? Six to seven months. And I told no one in the industry, I told no one because I didn't want my bookings to stop coming in. And a lot of times, a, a lot of the, nat the the major recording artists will not tell you that they're in the hospital and they're sick and stuff like that because that's a lot of, that's our livelihood. And so when you tell, when you make that announcement, yes, um, it, it stops a lot of dates coming Your in phone. and it stops yes. a lot of, opportunities that can happen because the promoter is like okay they sick now we can't get them you yeah, know like you're people, better now yeah <laughs> nobody wanted to say they had covid right right, <laughs> right. Thank and, God for and probably most of the population of the gospel industry had covid mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they're still singing and praising all sick up but we thank god for the 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 power of healing Amen. And the power the vaccine. Of healing. Yes. yes. So now yes. you told us, thank you for sharing your testimony and being transparent with us. We appreciate that. No no Tell problem. us, um, you said you have a surprise and we want to know what that surprise is. There's a collab coming. I didn't forget <laughs> I, at all. Hey, Anthony, Anthony's keeping us updated on the sports. Uh, I want it. You promised. So what? I'm I'm close. In I did. Thing. I promise. I promise you, Liz. And you know, Liz, I can't hurt you like that. I got it. I got it. I got to give your people what what is happening right now look at her she's getting excited <laughs> i'm ready <laughs> first I'm ready. of all i want to say that let me okay i'm gonna say this first lord i hear you is number three today on the charts come wow. through three. lucinda that is awesome number three on media base i love it the surprise I, love it. That I gotta tell you guys okay we're the ready yeah what what Yes! <laughs> drum roll, please! Drum roll! DJ Rich, you got drum roll? That's what I was just looking for. You got drum roll on there? It, it, it left. I don't, I don't know what happened. It's gone. <laughs> you gotta check it in for Bahamas. Drum roll. Right. Okay, so the surprise is... I am about to fly out to do a collab with Tremaine Hall. Wow! Wow. Tremaine is on my record. Wow. Which will be released, which will be released March 28th. Wow, wow, wow. Wait a minute. Okay, are you all right, Liz? Throws. <laughs> I thought Liz was crying. <laughs> oh, and the song they are doing, I wrote. Wow. Let me tell you um, something, Lucinda. And I, she wait. She does not. Oh, Lucinda, your Wi-Fi is a little messy. That's right. It's a good picture of you. I hope you can hear me because then I can just talk. <laughs> <laughs> Lucinda, wait, can we can't like hear you. Oh, I good, good. You. Now that's there better. We go. Listen, Tr Lady Tremaine Hawkins does not sing and collab with anybody unless she feels you are special. And obviously, we know you're special, but she has just that's a huge validation to collapse that's wonderful what well, well here's the thing the thing people don't know that i've been eight years her background wow you what that's Oh, see, everything was good until she announced the good news and then her wife. 
with Tremaine eight years. I didn't know that. Wow. I didn't know that. All right, so Lucinda, we've got something for you. DJ Rich, we got something for her? There is a sound I hear so clear. Lord, I Yes, I hear a sound ringing in my ear. Lord, I yes, I Getting carried away, getting yeah, carried you away. You get carried away, and I'd be like, "We don't have, we can't come on no more." <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it, it gets gooder and gooder. Yeah, that was gooder and gooder right there. We Absolutely. thank you for your catalog of right. music. Absolutely. We thank you. Yes. Yeah, 
we thank you and we love you and we want everybody to go out and purchase lucinda moore's music today even if you thank just go you. purchase the single come on what is it 99 cents yes, let's support you. lucinda and, yep. and lucinda if you're in town april 27th i'm having a birthday party at the cotton club <laughs> So your Wi-Fi has been pretty poor right now. It was good in the beginning and it just went downhill. So we know you're saying you love us. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanna, can you say bye and send everybody to your social media? I'm not sure if she can. I'm gonna have to do it for her. Yeah, I know. What's your social media? media i am Luc i am lucinda moore y'all her wi-fi was a little choppy but but we got the best of what we needed we got to find out that she's collabing with termaine hawkins and then then her wi-fi messed up but it was okay because yeah. she had already shared the good news with us and we're That's very right. excited lucinda i'll talk to you soon god bless you and traveling mercies back home okay bye bye we'll talk to you later love you yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that good? Kim, what do you mean you almost missed the show? You're not allowed to miss. Would you come in? You got eight minutes. That means you got to watch it on demand, Kim. Yep. <laughs> Wasn't that something? That was something. I, I'm just so happy for her. You know, yeah. she hustles and she's the real deal. And God has honored that. And, and that's just beautiful. I love to see that. I love to see it. And she's been consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, some our artists get flaky over time. They get the big head. Yeah, some do. Yeah, Lucinda yeah. has been the same. Her head has remained the same size the whole time. <laughs> appreciate it so do you want to see what i did yesterday yes 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 Sorry, I didn't really show y'all nothing, huh? <laughs> El Toro Loco. I didn't show you no jumps. That's El Toro Loco flipped in the air. Wow. He went up and flipped and landed on all four tires. Wow. I remember the first time I went to go see Bigfoot at Madison Square Garden. Oh, that was years and years yes. ago. I and immediately the very next day, my mom took me out and bought me the Bigfoot truck. I was just so happy, remote control and everything. Bigfoot. Yes. Now it's the Grave Digger. Grave Digger is the big one now. Yeah, it yeah, used to be Grave Digger, Bigfoot. Um, there were a couple of more. There was also Reaper. Um, I, I loved all that stuff. I had all the posters I, and pictures. I'm hooked. That was my <laughs> second one. Wow. I went to one in New York. Um, probably about seven months ago. I had somebody behind me that was just so irritating in my seat. They took, <laughs> took tried to take my joy away, but I didn't let them. That's but right. I went to Prudential Center and I gotta tell you, it was wonderful. So wow. I had to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom for about four minutes. Oh, wow. And in that four minutes is when El Toro flipped in the air. It was the best performance wow. of the whole day. And I missed it because I was in the bathroom. <laughs> That's I will never. Happens. I would never do that again. That's it. Drink oh. something midway through. So that once you go out, then you'll go to the bathroom at the end. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to figure something out. <laughs> Marlene, I loved it. Like, I wanted to go back again today, but the tickets are sky high. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Marvin. How are you doing? I love you, too. The monster trucks are those big trucks that they they go up on ramps and they ride on the side. I probably have a better video to show you. Next week, yeah. I'll show you some of the videos off my phone. 
and share it because it really was wonderful. Yes, the Grave Digger, but he, El Toro won. Oh, wow. Yesterday. So I think my guy is about to be really known. I was like, why don't you have a t shirt for him? Yeah. So I got one that has, here it is. I, and I asked him, you know, I was like, why all your t shirts for you? It's because it's mostly for kids, I guess, but I right. am an adult that enjoys it. Can nice. we see this at all? Oh, A little bit. See. No. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, light. Alexa, turn off office light. There you go. Yeah, so it has three trucks on it. Grave Digger, El Toro. I don't even know the other ones. They had a Scooby-Doo one. Yeah. <laughs> he had a tail. But let me tell you, stuff be flying off their trucks. Oh, yeah. They expect it. One, one time, El Toro's horn came off. Wow. It's serious. I was like, oh, yeah. what does it feel like to drive one of those? With all of that horsepower, I'm sure your neck is in the back seat somewhere when you're driving. I, you I would love to try it. <laughs> Tony said, put on a the pen. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to next time, huh? I don't uh, want to miss nothing. I don't want to miss nothing going to the bathroom. She said, put on a the pen. That is hysterical. <laughs> All right, y'all. So out west, they do it a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But they brought it here. I think May is the next one. So I'm going to make sure I have my tickets because I am going. Nice. Yeah. All right. So. It's already 3.57. Where'd our time go? It went fast today. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Make sure you stay connected with me on all my social media. Liz Black Live, come on. Get your birthday shout outs in. We just, we just didn't have enough time for everything <laughs> today, but go yeah. ahead. You've got a birthday. We want to wish you a happy birthday. And post your scripture before we go. We got That's three it. minutes. It could be the longest three minutes of our life if you do it right, okay? <laughs> Birthdays and post your scriptures. Come on, let's get it all in. I appreciate y'all. And remember, you can always send your encouraging words to 855-LIZ-LIVE, a birthday, anniversaries, favorite scriptures, or if you just want to say hi, that's the number, 855-LIZ-LIVE. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. Birthdays, you have a great time? Hey, man, I'm happy. Thank you, Tony. I tried. I enjoyed y'all too. All right, I think um, happy birthday to everybody. What are we in? We're in January. We're the end of January, y'all. We're already about to hit February. January 2023 is over. It's crazy. Dude, um, what should I go eat? I'm hungry. I think I am too, even though I ate early. I might just have a snack though. You know, I, want, I want some Italian food. I ordered a, a Italian meatball parmesan from a guy down the street. The last time it was so much sauce, it was disgusting. He wow. gave us a pizza. So I said, you understand. Now I went in and ordered it again. And I said, don't forget, don't put too much sauce. So you know it still had too much sauce? Oh, wow. So it didn't hit the, the spot that I needed for my Italian fix. So I'm going, I think I'm going to order some Italian food. Look at all these wonderful birthdays. We're giving shout outs. Here, we're getting scriptures and we just mushed everything all together. Y'all, we love you. Come on back here next week and hang out with us. I will be with Pastor Wright at his church and then um, I'll be here with you all and DJ Rick. Yes. DJ Rich, you on tonight? I am on tonight, the Sunday Night Gospel House Mix Show. Two hours of the best gospel house and inspirational tunes to uplift your spirit and your soul on all my social media at DJ Rich Williams. Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, at DJ Rich Williams. So make sure you tune in tonight. Yes. Tune in tonight. Yes. And make oh, sure and the Inspired Living Network. Yep, y'all gotta <laughs> tune in. DJ Rich be doing it. Make yeah. sure you, you check me out. Oh wait, I still have sort of sites. <laughs> Who's the one? I still have some, some names up there and some scriptures. And... Okay, now we got it. Um, Make sure Sunday praise, y'all. 7 a.m. 
on Sundays on 107.5 WBLS. I need you to be locked in. Come on. Gospel music, that's the way you want to start out this Sunday. DJ Rich, right. you know, yes. this has been fun, and thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure to be here with you, Liz. Yay. And everybody else, we got nothing but love for you. And until next time, go in peace, go in grace. Don't just go to church. Be, be the, the church. church. Here we go. Come on and get down. Everybody, come on and give him all of your praise. Yeah. This what's playing all of the music that makes you want to keep your hands raised. Let's come up, got yeah. the fire house and the church rocking. Yeah. Yeah. Got the people all amazed. From the sounds pumping through your speakers, this makes you want to.